Hi, my name is Kent Hare, and I'm the Minister of Veterans Affairs, but more importantly to you, I have a story to tell. I grew up in Calgary, took part in everything it had to offer, played some junior hockey here, went to Mount Royal College, but uh, one evening I was going out with some friends, and I was the victim of a drive-by shooting. Well, the next day, I woke up in the Foothills Hospital, and I was a C5 quadriplegic. My world had crumbled. You know, the day before, uh, I was uh, going to school, working uh, at Safeway, playing on the hockey team, had an active social life. The next day, I had no idea what my life would become. In fact, my first words to my parents after the drive-by were, Mom, Dad, I'm a C5 quadriplegic. I don't know if I want to live. Those were really dark days. And really, uh, my family and I weren't quite certain of where to turn, where to go for answers or any information. Well, a couple of months went by, and we reached out and got some help. We got it from Spinal Cord Injury Canada. It was formerly known as the CPA. But nevertheless, we met with some people there. They gave us some ideas on how to make our lives better. They got us in touch with uh, accessible housing, where I was able to go uh, move into the fourth dimension. They also gave me some ideas on going back to school, how to build my life, how to meet with other people who had gone through the situation before I had. And it was a great resource to me and my family. 11 months after, I enrolled in the uh, University of Calgary, began taking classes, having no idea where my life would go. But I kept on doing that day after day, and it wasn't easy. It was not easy to rebuild my life. And nevertheless, you keep on going to school, you get involved in your community, you go for coffee, you meet new friends, and my goodness, uh, uh, eventually things got better day by day. Well, I eventually got a Canadian studies degree, went back and finished a law degree, practiced law at a national law firm called uh, Denton's, became a member of the Legislative Assembly, and oh, now I uh, find myself being Minister of Veterans Affairs in the federal government. It was truly an amazing journey, and I can tell you this, I don't know uh, whether I would have chosen to become a member of the d disabled community. That being said, I recognize that my life is really a wonderful thing. That having a spinal cord injury has enabled me to see life differently, to understand that people don't always have it easy, and to play a meaningful role uh, with a disability in our society. I can tell you it has made me a better human being. I don't know whether it would, it's been easier. It probably hasn't. If I had a choice of playing it out, uh, being able-bodied or disabled body, well, the choice is pretty clear. It'd probably be able-bodied. But I can tell you this, I am 100% happy. And I cannot tell you if I did play it out the other way, if I kept going on the track I was, whether life would be as good. I've now been a politician for uh, close to 10 years. And this last campaign uh, was a long and arduous one. Uh, I didn't take a day off for a year and four months, running to become the Member of Parliament for Calgary Centre. And uh, was it stressful? It is at times. But, you know, any, anything in life is not easy. you got to understand, to, to get ahead, you got to challenge yourself. I devoted my life to public service, and uh, the only way to, to do this business is to get out, hustle, and meet people. And it's really enjoyable getting out there to doing that. And what you understand, when running for elections, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether you play the game. It's almost like life with a spinal cord injury. You know, it's different, but you have to play the game to be involved. Half of life is showing up. I'm good at that half. And after you show up, you can get better at the other half. And that's what I find on political campaigns. You show up, you work hard, you meet some people, you let the chips fall where they may, and whether you win or lose, it's the exercise and the uh, use of uh, the skills that you have to move public policy forward and 
the corollary of that is I get to share my life with people. And that's the truly amazing thing, is that they learn from me and I learn from them. If we look at the role of a national government, it's to represent the various different people that we have in Canada. And I'm very proud to be a uh, member of Parliament with a disability and being part of Veterans Affairs and Minister of uh, National Defence, I mean Associate Minister of National Defence. I think having a person like me who's had a different life experience is very important to uh, both of these files and in fact uh, our government. Look, we get to see life differently than others. We have a different life experience. And taking my life experience to those decisions is important. Look, uh, I've, uh, on Veterans Affairs, I've never been to war, served in peacekeeping, or any of missions abroad. But yet I know uh, when our men and women come back uh, to Canada who need to get help, need to get uh, ways to move their lives forward, uh, having done done that myself with a spinal cord injury, having that perspective allows me to look at our programs and look whether they're serving our population, whether they be disabled, able-bodied, whether they want to go back to school, whether they want to get uh, some help uh, with uh, mental health issues. Oh my goodness, that's what we've all been through with spinal cord injury. All of these things, moving our lives forward after a change in our life. And that's what our veterans are going through. When they leave the service, they're going through a change in their life. And I think I have a better perspective of that than many people do. Disability is complex. And added on to uh, the pressures of uh, being involved in the workforce, socializing, and all of those things just means we have to do a little more work planning than the average bear out there. But I can tell you, with uh, the course of time, you're going to get very good at this. I know which places I can go, which places I can't, which places are going to have more opportunities for me to be successful. Also, I've been lucky. You know, uh, having uh, lived now uh, as a politician for 10 years, my, my staff understands what needs to happen, where we need to have meetings, where we can go, what's accessible and what's not. So I get a lot of help through the day. But but that's the way it is. We all help everyone in life. Look, it, it does take me a, an hour and 15 minutes to get up every morning, an hour and 15 to go to bed every night. That's just how it is. And sometimes when you're early on in your disability, you think this is the worst thing in the world. I tell you what, things get better. 25 years in, my goodness, it's just the way life works and I'm comfortable with it very at home with it and at peace with it and you will find a way to make it happen just like I have and this is to you newly injured out there you know there's going to be a real temptation for you to want to close yourself in to uh, stay in your room to watch TV to cut yourself off from the rest of society because you're going to feel a little different you're not going to sense that there's opportunities out there I was like that as well. The first year was challenging, so is the second one, but it gets easier. But I want to encourage you, make sure you go to the restaurant. Make sure you go for coffee. Make sure you go where other people are. Don't shut yourself in. Just getting out there, interacting with them on a daily basis will open up doors and possibilities you uh, won't have if you shut yourself off. Half a life is showing up, but you can't show up if you're in your room uh, all day, you know, thinking about woe is me, or my goodness, what does everyone think about me now that I'm disabled? You gotta remember, you know, we have to get on with our lives. Show up, force yourself to go out. It's not gonna be comfortable at the start, but you keep doing it, my goodness, you wake up 25 years later, and it's fine. You're comfortable in your own skin. And that's where you want to get. To that place again where this is you, who you are, you're proud of it, and that's uh, not easy, but it will come if you just get out the door and try and interact.
It's not easy, but you'll get there.